Hello to all of you beautiful people and beautiful souls. Peace on earth and love and light to you. This is a pick a card reading for tell me something about my relocation. Tell me something about my move. Like help me feel comfortable comfortable with this. Like just help me out with this. And the thing is I've just been getting I've been seeing comments um, they're not even particularly on the video that I made for moving, but, um, on other videos, um, that I've made. And then, um, there was one person that told me on the last video I made when I asked people, uh, to, did I want to make, did they want me to make another video for? There was one person that was like, yes, do it. So that was enough for me right there <laughs> because like, like I said, it, it's just been other people just been kind of saying it. And then um, I go on, I've been on other psychic's lives and I've been trying for myself to get more information about this. And I just have to get alone with myself and spirit and spirit give me more, give me much information. Um, I'm very grateful about that. As you guys know, those of you who are psychics or seers, it's kind of hard to see for yourself. But um, but there was a reader who told me to get along by myself and just listen to what Spirit was saying. And I did get a lot of downloads from that. And it's just, this is the thing though, when you are getting ready to relocate, it can be a scary thing. And the thing is, it's just so many details that go into moving. So I feel that energy. I feel that it's not just me. I feel the energy and I really need to do this reading for people. <laughs> okay. So, um, if you guys have already been looking at the cards and you already know, know your card, then go ahead and stick with the card. If not, I'm going to give these cards a name. The reason I do that because I feel like it helps people out a little bit more to kind of hear something different rather than, you know, something typical, something that they hear all the time. Because it helps me out. That's one thing that it does. It helps me out when I'm on other people's videos. I get confused. I'm not talking about nobody else. And the thing is, when I'm going through something, I feel like maybe somebody else is going through it too. So, that's one reason why I do this. And we're going to give these words, these um, cards, names. So, um, these cards came out, you guys. Harmony, Surrender, and Spiritual Quest. So, I decided to name these cards. Um, let's see. Harmony. Spiritual Quest. And surrender. We have what's your name? Your name is Surrender. Okay. What's your name? Your name is Spiritual Quest. And what is your name? <laughs> your name is Harmony. So pause the video if you need more time if not we're gonna go right ahead i don't really know exactly what i'm gonna name this video but what i am going to, to do is just give you more information about this move about your relocation okay as much as i can and what i'm going to do i'm going to go to um what did i name this one spiritual quest harmony i forgot that quick i know this one was harmony I'll put it in the timestamp. Let's go to this one. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, I didn't even explain these. Oh, I got to put this in the timestamp too. Because this is what I wanted to say. Spirit is saying that this is your move. And one reason why some of you are have just have been led to move and don't even really know why. But you know you're just feeling this this push. And some of you are going somewhere because Spirit is saying uh, we're just taking you from out of this environment. Because some of you are guys are in like a toxic, toxic environment. And they're going taking you somewhere that's more peaceful. Some of you are just going somewhere to create harmony you're like you're actually going to actually bring people together in this environment that you will be in you're being placed there as the special person to help everyone out and to and to bring everything all together and so for some of you this is just a spiritual quest spiritual journey you might not even know why you're being drawn to this place but you feel like you're being drawn there and spirit is saying because this is just in your destiny we want you to go there so much is for you in this place so Let's go to this one again and let's sit this right here and let's see what your cards are all about. 
those of you who are, are inquiring something when it comes to your move okay so immediately these look like positive cards huh I say before in my video sometimes I pay attention to their to them being upside down depends on the energy sometimes I don't it's just two positive cards beside each other so this is a good thing and this is what's gonna happen in your move don't feel nervous it's a lot huh it is a lot when you're relocating I know I'm trying to go through it myself but this is your destiny this is divine appointment, meaning this is actually where your spiritual guides want you at. You won't experience nothing, experience nothing but blessings when you get there or blessings. I have a friend who says, don't say blessings, say blessings because blessings means to be less. So, <laughs> shout out to Infinite Peace 88. I have to say that every time and I'm just going to be saying her name a lot, especially if I have to, whenever I have to explain that because I have to give the credit, okay? <laughs> so, subscribe to her channel. But if you just know that when you get there, that this is a place that you're going to be so blissed. And so you're going to experience so many blessings when you get there, okay? And then, if you're not doing much now, it's because you have to move from where you at. Because some people, you guys, and this is what someone told me. Even like in your birth chart, even though your mom is in a certain place, your father is in a certain place, your cousins and uncles are in a certain place, that don't mean that's where you are supposed to be. That does not mean that's where you are destined, destined to be at. That, don't, that does not mean that that's where you are going to work properly at. And a lot of things cannot come to you if you are out, if you are not there. It's just like... Um, you know, just look at yourself like mail. You know, if mail is going to come to you at the address that you give it. And if you're not there at the address, how can that mail come to you? If you're not where you are supposed to be, or you give them an incorrect, or you are in an incorrect address, then how can you um, get things that are supposed to be for you and I feel like some of you are just in the wrong place and when you get to that right place you will achieve much this is a place of achievement because I feel like for some of you you have not been achieving much here or if even if you are you will achieve more there I really feel like some of you though are just not uh, achieving much here what I mean like where you are right now and you might feel like when I get there, what am I going to do? You won't even have to worry, worry about that just because this is a place of achievement. And you will have many blessings and much achievement when you get there. So don't even worry about it. I feel like some of you guys have this fear because um, this is just what I'm picking up when I'm seeing this card, you guys. Something in your childhood that happened to you, very disturbing, kind of gave you some low self-esteem, kind of make you feel like um, you can't go out on your own or you can't do anything, do much on your own or you won't be able to achieve much on your own when those are just lies from low entities, low low vibrational beings who have just told you that lie just because they don't want you to experience all this achievement and blessings that you will have and the thing is sometimes you have to get by yourself to be blessed and to achieve much sometimes you can't do um so much with other people behind you and some people are trying to make it seem like oh you won't be able to be this or that without me no you are an responsible intelligent wise person and when you do leave and maybe some of you are kind of long or kind of young so when you do leave just know that you will achieve much a uh, much and you will be blessed okay so, don't have any fear about this relocation. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I just feel like some of you guys are just wondering, should I go by plane? Should I go by air, boat, train? And Spirit is saying, anywhere that's going to get you there. 
If you are concerned about the price, don't be concerned about the price. Just be concerned about getting there. So if you have to pay more to get there, then do that. And don't worry about anything else, okay? Because you need to just get there. It's not that you have to be in such a rush, but you do need to be worried about just getting there. And that should be your only worry, okay? Those of you who were led to... This was Harmony. It was sitting over here. And I put the second one that was sitting right here. I put the second one right here there. So this was the third one. <laughs> so this is Harmony. Those of you who are led to Harmony. You want some advice about your relocation and your move? That's literal. For me. Yeah, you're so nervous, and you have a right to be, but Spirit is going to give you courage when it comes to this situation, okay? This is kind of like I was saying in the last one, that the reason you're going to this place is because you're out of place right now. Oh my gosh, I looked down, it was 11, 11, isn't that good, guys? That's a sign. Living, living can mean sometimes to be alert, to pay attention. So, the thing is, so the thing is, you guys, um, in this place, if for any reason you don't feel complete or feel whole where you at, now, when you get to this place, you will experience wholeness. You will feel that emptiness, that gap that you feel like is missing. I can relate to that. Sometimes, you guys, you you do, and I've said this before, you just feel incomplete. You do. And sometimes it's just because that you are out of place. When you get there, the emptiness that you have always felt will be will be filled. You will. This is the place of wholeness. This is where your next life's journey is at, okay? This is just where you're supposed to be. Your husband is here. Your wife is here. This is where you're going to have children at. If you already have children, you'll have more children. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I just remembered. A lot of times, you guys, when I pick a dick, I don't even remember. I just start reading them. I just realized this is the one that I picked. I picked Harmony. And it's talking about having more children. I don't want more children. But if that's what the cards yeah. say. That's for y'all. That yeah. ain't for me. I'm not receiving that yeah. part. What? See? This baby right here right now. This is okay. this is why. <laughs> She's enough. I don't want any more. What do you want, boo? That's pretty much all I was going to say. Don't, don't be scared. Scared. Rightfully so, you are relocating, aren't you? So, rightfully so, you be scared. You're, you're going to be scared. But Spirit is saying, we're going to give you this courage, so don't worry about it. But this is your all in all. This is your, this is your completion. This is your end zone. This is just where you're supposed to be, okay? This is where you are supposed to be. Don't question it anymore i mean if you only knew it reminds me of that bible verse eyes have not seen ears ears have not heard and you don't have to be very religious to believe this because i don't believe everything in the bible and i don't consider myself a religious person but i do like certain quotes from the bible and just you guys will hear me say quotes from the bible in different in different references all the time but if you listen to this, it's so powerful when they say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, all the blessings that I say Yahweh, Yahweh has stored up for you, or your creator, your, um, the universe, angels, whoever your deity is, if that's how you believe. There are so many blessings and like I said, I'm going to start saying blessings now because I really do believe when my friend said, don't tell anyone to be less. So don't say blessings, say blessings. So shout out to Infinite Peace 88. I'm going to have to start saying her name because I, I have to give her the credit because everybody's not going to know what I mean when I say that. So that is all for this one. <laughs> this was great though, huh? Okay.
great deck for you guys. Let's go to the last one. Those who were led to, um, yeah, I forgot what I named these cards. I'll put it in the description so you guys will know where we're at. So, yeah, when you leave, when you relocate, if you're a single, you're going to find love here. That's for sure. You've made the right decision. This is where you're supposed to be. Promise of the future. Okay. I don't even know how to put it any more simpler. Because that's just what I heard. And you have made the right decision. Yes, this is what you If you don't know if you're supposed to relocate. Yes, you're supposed to relocate. If you're wondering why you haven't found love. It's because it's not going to happen where you are now. It's going to happen when you go to this new place. Promise of the future. This is saying that in the future this is this is supposed to happen i'm looking at this eight eight is can be a number for by uh financial success as some of you guys will know um will be happy to know that you'll have a lot of financial success here this is a promise of the future it will happen in your future it is a promise that you um are supposed to be at this place just know that this is your destiny this is where you're supposed to be at you have made the right decision as those of you who have not made the right decision because you feel like you don't know if you're supposed to relocate or not yes you are okay so say you've been to one of my pick a card readings and you picked the one that said no maybe the time was not right at that time maybe the time is right at this time maybe your intuition led you wrong at that time maybe your intuition still has led you wrong at the end of the day you have to listen to your intuition but i'm saying from what i'm hearing now those of you who have been who have been confused yes you need to relocate and that is all you guys and i hope i gave you guys some peace when it comes to relocating and um that's all <laughs> Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe. Leave down in the comment if any of this resonated with you at all. If you have some kind of question or something like that. If you want a personal reading, then look in the description for all of that info. So that is all, you guys. Bye.